So we gotta start this video off with some lore, alright? Get y'all into the spirit and mood of what's about to go off. I made this innocent tweet talking about how Boo was not ready to catch these Super Saiyan hands. Look at that team! This pink bubblegum special ed looking ass was not about to go unharmed through this fight. Then I look at the tweet seeing four different replies and I'm like, oh damn, maybe I do got clout like that. Open up the replies just to see I got some of these moths on my talking about man i don't know how this is gonna go how you know how this is gonna go men think he moving on some bardock shit look at that mirror again you are not mm. him this guy talking about you pretty soon <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'll take that. Jakob here on my ass. Hey, yep. This was the last straw though. Bro posted a whole AGL icon. This got me tired as shit. Like, I am not about to go out like this. Do you know, I had to go in game and show these my how it's done up in these Super <clears throat> Saiyan streets. Going into the game here and you know Vegeta a whole ass prima donna, bro. He loves that spotlight because he breaks a whole iceberg hey, in yo, half yo. and closes in with the most punchable oh. ass smirk I've seen in my life. Like, boy, if you don't get your stupid ass off my... But then we got Trunks and Goku falling up going super saiyan I'm like you know you gotta respect it that shit is kind of cool as fuck but you gonna tell me you did all that shit just to go back to base form again like what was the point anyway we go into the event to see the most vile ass attack pattern I've seen oh, in my man. life this man Boo was fiending for the smoke attacking that much on slot one so I gotta fix up my rotation just for this man to try and super attack Vegeta immediately like bro who you think you is damn that actually kind of hurt me got me there getting yanked of the street saying so i'm finally fighting a worthy opponent but vegeta was not playing because this man hit boo with a three-piece combo and finished it off with whatever the fuck that is galligan a, a stray blast and you know vegeta was mad as shit because he did that shit two more times back to back and not only that but this man called in hey, goku yo, to piece fuck? him up as well and this shit got me teary-eyed on god because they used to fight each other to death and shit. beam clashing and everything up in this bitch they was not done because these men called in trunks as well to get a piece of that hey, great yo, booty. You know Trunks a freaky ass ah, motherfucker if this is the way he's shooting key blasts. Like bro, what are you trying to signalize bro? But I'ma let it slide cause we're doing some good damage. Took a whole three bars of this guy turn one. But on the next turn and this is where I understood why people love to shoot on Kaba's character. Man, this man's whole purpose in this fight is to change orbs to red orbs and he gives me oh this atrocity of an orb field. Like bro, what are you smoking? What am I supposed to do with this? This is why your ass getting rotated off with no second thoughts i'm gonna keep your master and your baby mama on rotation by the way hold up we gotta talk about something kaba is a better man than any of us watching this video right now because if i had this god sent angel looking woman training in the same vicinity as me i would have been dead 10 minutes ago hitting all them sanji hey, nosebleed the poses fuck? anyway back to the important stuff here i'm trying to hold back as much as i can because i know if i give kefla her whole passive this man would have lost the smile he has on his face right here looking like squidward but nah we gotta prolong the fight to get that in vegeta out frame one into the rotation and i see this man vegeta get packed oh. up from the weakest punch i've seen in my life a normal dragon ball npc would have been able to take this and then just look back at boo's eyes but he did make up for it by charging up one of the nastiest final flashes i've seen in my life but at that point he might as well just not even shot that shit because boo was not faced by it knowing vegeta's submissive side boo pulls out a move from the Vegeta's daddy and hits him with a Kamehameha. How you gonna let that man charge up and use Goku's move on you and you're looking like this? Then again, he is used to taking L, so I can kind of see it. Step aside though, because we got an actual dependable unit attacking right now. Kefla knows this man is free to eat slaughter. Just look at the way she's standing. Arms crossed, smirking, and you can see that same smirk three times on your screen showing that she really is about all that life. But y'all gotta look at this though. Homegirl was so fast, she almost tripped over and goes in front of this man because she don't be doing that weak sneak attack bullshit. We're gonna leave all that to Vegeta and his coward ass. Then Kefla hit the meanest Die. left hook I've seen in my life. Push bro so hard, even the scenery changed around her. Boo is still alive. This man got 18 million HP and he's standing there like he ain't even feel that shit. And this is where the screen goes white and we see Gohan pull up on the top of a destroyed building, missing an arm and bro is clenching his fist like bro, it ain't that serious. It's just dog on battle. But now we gotta talk about how this man Gohan is talking about he will protect the earth. Like man, shut your dumb ass up. We seen what happened when you said that shit versus the androids. Even I was trying to find the inexisting skip button. I was not getting gaslighted by 
this guy. But on this turn, though, you could see Boo was not playing around. Bro was mad as hell for that first turn as we think that he got from the three sands. Because look at this! You do not gotta do all that! And you know right here, I'm thinking about keeping these guys on rotation because I need them to fuse. So you know what I had to do? Using my experience playing Candy Crush when I was a little kid and my above average color recognition, I heal up, grabbing the same type orbs. All right, should be fine now. Right? After Vegeta ran the exact same combo on him for three more times, I clenched my butt hey, cheeks yeah. and somehow this man did not super attack my Goku and Vegeta. Whew. That was kind of close. This is where I started licking my lips, rubbing my hands and doing the most insane Disney villain impression because I knew this shit was over. We won. Or so I thought. This man still had a little bit of HP left. Like, brother, let it go. It's over. I gotta respect it, to be honest. He outlasted the amount of time Vegeta survived in all of his Dragon Ball fights combined. But this man, Vegeta, must have heard this part right here. Because he unleashed another final flash. And this time he does get his KO scream. No problem. Free eats. Acting all tired as well. Trying to look cool for the IG picture. Like, bro, all you did was one final flash. Stop acting like this. This is the same guy that gets an A-plus on deadline day for a project he ain't even helped with. Going into the next phase here, and Boo finally decided to start bulking up, because I'ma tell you right now, bro, that look was not it, looking scrawny as shit. Like, you couldn't even lift three pounds. Although, I gotta give my flowers to Kawa, because he finally decides to make himself useful and give me a full red orb field, but fuck that shit, because it's time for Daddy to make his appearance. <laughs> That shit is so beautiful, it got me crying like a baby. And knowing that he ain't one-upping that active skill performance, I quickly skipped Vegeta's active skill to get into the fight already, but nah, hold up. We gotta talk about something again here. How is this man Vegeta always able to come up with some of the coldest one-liners ever just to get his ass smacked two seconds later? Like he's talking about you need more than calculations to understand that. And then gets his ass beat by an android with calculations on how to beat Saiyans. Like, bro, change that name to Prince of Elves, because at this point, even Bardock got more Ws than you, and he a low-class warrior. Anyway, I quickly take a look, and this man is super attacking me. Slot 1, thinking he's about that life, he's about to end this run, but nah. I check the defense, that's pretty fucking bad. I grab the orbs, check the defense again. Yeah, we're cooking. Anyway, the super attack does absolutely no damage to everyone in this rotation, but you will not believe what actually happened next, man. My eyes just bulged out of my fucking skull, seeing Kaba's balls hey, yeah. pause, actually dropped, and this man starts packing up Boo like, bro, how many punches are you throwing? Then we had my man Super Vegito. This is the cannon fight right here. Mine is a Goku Gi on Boo, of course, and we know Vegito about to make this shit look cannon as well. Throwing a 14 million super attack at Boo, punch, bro, so hard. He had him looking like he just got uppercutted by Mike Tyson. Grabbed him from the leg, threw his dumb ass to the rocks, and hit him with the most insane Kamehameha in the series, destroying the whole panorama. Like, man, you're supposed to be the hero. You just killed some innocent squirrels and shit. Vegeta was not done. Having his arms crossed, doing his best Kefla impression, he hits Boo with the two piece and then thinks his saber, talking about some spirit Excalibur, spawning in this long ass Keyblade right here and cutting up Boo. But we already know that shit don't work on Boo he back and trying to pack Vegito up immediately. Vegito quickly shows him he ain't about that life. This man kicks Boo, does whatever the fuck this is, and hit him with 8 million damage on one counter, having Boo looking like he was done with life. But Boo must have taken a page out of Konohama because this man got up and he was running to Vegito doing double digit damage just to get his ass smacked by another counter. Like at that point, just stay down, bro. Even I'm feeling bad for you and I'm trying to beat your ass. This man still kept going. So you already know Vegeta was on that ass hey, yeah. already to show off his newly acquired Super Saiyan because this man didn't super attack him not once or twice or three times 
but four different times. And at this point, I'm like, all right, this gotta do it. This man has gotten hit by every single attack on Earth multiple times. This guy is still standing. Ain't even gonna lie, I thought Bro was the main character, because how you gonna have more durability and guts to never give up than Naruto Uzumaki himself? And to add even more to my shock, this man is super attacking slot one on the one rotation. I didn't want him to super attack me slot one. And this shit had me shook like, bro, damn, this man really about that life? This is prime example of good offense, but better defense, because what could I have done more? And you know, I had to make this shit canon as well, though, and pointed that finger to myself with Super Vegeta, slapped that boy slot one, and made Gohan take all the blame for not being able to live this super attack. But yeah, who got it, bro? I can't do shit to him. I gotta hit that hyperbolic time chamber and coming back with a new form, because this shit was embarrassing. Anyway, see ya.